guys welcome you all to my channel is this your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's tutorial we are going to making a simple video on how to cut and sew one shoulder dress and one off shoulder dress so basically in this style you have one part of your shoulder like a regular shoulder this way and then you have this other part to be your off shoulder so if you're interested in learning how to achieve that then stay tuned now what are the basic measurements required we have our shoulder measurements bust waist hip and our gown length and one thing i love about this style is the fact that it is free and also if you are a pregnant mom you can also rock this style so today's tutorial I'm putting on this one sided dress I have a detailed tutorial on how to achieve this I'm going to go ahead and link the video somewhere here on the screen please make sure you watch that after this video so let's go ahead now and calculate our basic measurement our shoulder measurement is 14 14 divided by 2 we have 7, our bust is 36, 36 divided by 4 plus 2, we have 11 inches, our waist is 30 inches, 30 divided by 4 plus 2, we have 9.5 inches, our hip is 38, so 38 divided by 4 plus 2, we have 11.5 inches, our gown length is 33 plus 2 inches, we have 35 inches, so basically this dress is actually like a free dress so you are going to go ahead and determine how many inches you want to add to your basic measurements that will determine how free you want your dress to be so you can add about five inches across your measurements you can add six inches you can add seven inches it all depends on you and don't forget that I said for pregnant mom also you can also rock this style this is because this style is a free dress and you know just go ahead and add as many inches as possible so for me now I'm going to add about six inches to my measurements so I have my bust measurements is 11 plus 6 I have 17 inches my waist is 9.5 plus 6 I have 15.5 inches my hip is 11 inches plus 6 I have 17.5 inches now my shoulder measurements you're also going to be adding to your shoulder measurement but one thing about this style is the fact that when we get to the cutting part of this tutorial i'm going to show you guys you know how we are able to achieve this and the reason why we are adding to our shoulder measurements is because it's going to have elastic at the upper part especially the fact that one side of your dress is off shoulder so i'll go ahead now and add six inches to it i have 13 inches so basically these are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve this dress now don't forget that from the title of this of this tutorial you discover that I said one part of this dress is off shoulder so you're also going to go ahead now and determine how many inches off do you want it to be so do you want it to be five inches off do you want it six inches do you want it seven inches it all depends on how deep you want this part to be I am going to understand that better when we get to the cutting part of this tutorial don't forget to join us on Facebook to the designs on Instagram TG designs and also visit our website we have amazing fashion illustration on our website all the details are going to be in the description box below how oh, look at beauty I'm a beauty <laughs> see the skin hmm. beauty take one minute and appreciate yourself okay beauty <laughs> now don't forget if you have any questions in the course of this tutorial please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section or any topic you want us to make a video on so guys we also have our round sleeve measurements and our sleeve length this is because that this is because for one part of your dress where you have your regular shoulder you're also going to have your sleeve and you have the long sleeve to be 22 inches for the regular part because it's going to be a long sleeve now for the other part also it's also so it's also going to get to the same length as your right hand side where you have your normal sleeve like i'm just saying your right hand side basically your regular sleeve should can be at the left hand side it can be at the right hand side it all depends on how you want to style yours right so now let's calculate that our round sleeve is 12 12 divided by 2 we have 6 our sleeve length is 22 plus 2 inches we have 24 inches now for your round sleeve also because you are going to have elastic at this part you are going to add inches to your round sleeve measurement so 
the number of inches you basically add totally depends on how full you want it to be so for me now i'm going to go ahead and just add about 10 inches which includes my sewing allowance i'm going to have 16 inches so these are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve your one shoulder and your off shoulder dress now for the other sleeve which is going to be off shoulder when you determine the number of inches you want to take out for your off shoulder the rest is going to serve as your sleeve so what i mean by that is this so let's assume that i am taking off this part to be my off shoulder now i want my off shoulder to be six inches like i said you can make use of five six seven eight it all depends on you so if i'm going out with six inches for my off shoulder i'm basically going to deduct six inches from my sleeve length right so once i deduct six inches from the sleeve length that is what i'm going to have for my sleeve length and because you're going to add elastic to this um lower part also you're also going to add your sleeve allowance to it so you're going to understand that better you know when we get to the cutting part but if you have any questions feel free to drop your questions in the comment section now don't forget to join us on facebook and give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe now let's move to the cutting part of this tutorial hi guys so i am going to achieve our one shoulder dress so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm making use of this african print to achieve this i am going to go ahead now and fold my fabric into four this way so i folded my fabric into four now we'll go ahead and mark our shoulder measurement so before then our gown length is 33 inches i went ahead to add four inches to my gown length why am i adding four inches to the gown length this is because we are going to have elastic at the upper part two inches for the elastic at the upper part and also two inches for the folding allowance at the upper part so i'm going to have a total of 37 inches for my length so now let's go ahead now and mark our shoulder measurement so our shoulder measurement is seven inches i'm going to go ahead now and mark my shoulder measurement okay it's clear enough so i'm going to mark my shoulder measurement now shoulder to bust we have nine inches shoulder to bust we have nine inches bust to waist we have eight inches bust to waist eight inches waist to hip nine inches right so i have ready-made size charts this enables you to know distance from one part to the other which is available and i also have a detailed video on that i'm going to link that on the screen so once we are done now go ahead and mark your bust measurement so my bust measurement is 10.5 note that this dress is going to be free it's not like your fitted form of dress right so it's going to be free all you are going to do now is to go ahead and add inches to your measurement now I'm going to add about four inches to my measurement because I don't want it to be too big right and I still want to like have a free effect at the end of the day so my boss is 10.5 I'm going to add four inches to it I have you know 14 and a half inches now my waist is 9.5 my normal waist like fitted gown is 9.5 I'm going to add four inches to this so I'll mark that 13 Point five. my hip now is 11 inches i'm going to add four inches to that i have 15 inches so i'll just go ahead now and connect this together just go ahead now and connect this together right so this is what it looks like now this 15 inches i'm just going to extend this all the way to my gown length the next thing we are basically going to do now is to go ahead and connect you know your shoulder to your bust measurement so i'm just going to connect it this way you can add inches to your shoulder right you can add maybe two inches to your shoulder if you like you can just add two inches and then you connect it together it depends on you so let's just add two inches now to the shoulder so this becomes our arm o now don't forget that one part of this dress is your regular dress why the other part is your off shoulder dress you also have to consider that so in order for you to achieve that we are going to go ahead now and open up this fabric but before i open it up i want to mark out where our mid point is so i'm just going to use chalk to like you know so when i open it i know where the middle is i know where i marked on this part so i'll go ahead now and open this up so once 
once we open this up now you will see that this is your midpoint this is where you have your so once you open this up you will discover that you know this is where you have your regular shoulder this is your midpoint and this is where it's up right so this is where you have your regular shoulder this is your midpoint and at this point now this other side is where we want to have our one shoulder effect right so this is where we want to have our one shoulder effect so we'll now go ahead now and you know let's mark out this part of our fabric also so that we can have the same thing for both the two so let's go ahead now and mark out this part also so that we can have you know the same thing for both sides so this is our shoulder measurements now shoulder to arm oh we have nine and a half right okay let me just paint this like a continuous line bust to waist we have eight inches bust to waist we have eight inches waist to hip we have nine inches waist to hip we have nine inches so so that we just you know move on the same page right so now our bust measurements now is 10.5 we added um four inches to this part so i'm going to have 14 inches also now at this point now we have 13 and a half we are basically just marking it so that we can have you know the same parts for both sides we have 15 inches for the hip we go ahead now and connect this now this is where we are going to achieve all our effects this is our off shoulder part this is where we have our regular shoulder and this is the middle line so from this midpoint now go ahead and mark your neckline go ahead and mark your neckline so my neckline now i'm going to make it of three inches I'm going to make it of three inches for the neckline you can see where we marked the neckline basically you can see where we marked the neckline on this part where we have our regular arm o we've marked our neckline three inches now on this part where you have your off shoulder go ahead and determine how many inches of do you want this part to be how many inches of do you want it to be so you can say you want to take off six inches you want to take off five you want to take off four it all depends on how off you want it to be so for me i am going to make use of six inches for the off shoulder right so this line now is six inches for my off shoulder what we are going to do now is connect this six inches of your off shoulder to your neckline connect this six inches to the neckline of this part i hope you guys can see it, but if you have any question please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section so we'll go ahead now and connect it you know to meet up with the neckline you can see what it looks like so basically we have your regular shoulder after that mark your midpoint once you are done mark your neckline i made this of three inches for my neckline after marking your neckline you tell me where you want to be your off shoulder mark the number of inches you want to take off on this part once you've marked the number of inches you want to take off on this part you basically connect your off shoulder line to your neckline that's basically what i did there now how will you now get your arm o for this part this is our bust line this is our off shoulder line we need to get our arm o on this middle line go ahead now and mark your shoulder measurements our shoulder measurements is seven inches we mark our seven inches here so this should be you know our regular shoulder but you are also going to add inches to it why are we adding inches to this shoulder also we are adding inches to this shoulder because one we are fixing in our elastic and we have to factor in our elastic allowance at this point right and also what we have at this part of this sleeve or the dress is off shoulder so go ahead now i'm going to add five inches for my elastic allowance i'm going to have five inches for my elastic allowance so this becomes my shoulder all we are going to do now is connect this shoulder line now to your bust line in a slant shape this way in a slant shape this way you can see just go ahead and slant it so this becomes your off shoulder arm o and this becomes your regular arm o you also discovered that this part of our off shoulder arm o we went ahead to add up 
five inches to our shoulder measurement but this part where we have our regular shoulder we did not add any five inches right i only said you can add two inches at this point if you want to which is optional it all depends on you so but for this part where you have your off shoulder we are basically going to add to it for our elastic allowance so you go ahead now and connect it once you are done this is basically what it looks like so you are going to cut out your your neckline you're going to cut out your arm or your neckline this way and your shoulder so i'll go ahead and do that and then show you guys what it looks like can you see what we have guys we have our neckline already you can see your neckline you can also see your arm o and for this other part you know like i said yeah it's optional so i just ended up adding about half inch to mine and this is our regular shoulder so this is your regular shoulder and you have your off shoulder we've added your elastic allowance and we have our arm o so this is basically what it looks like we are going to go ahead now and set this aside so guys the next thing i want to cut out now is my belt because i want the dress to have belt so that it can grip the waist part but note that this is optional okay like you can rock it that way and you can rock it with a belt it all depends on how you want to style your dress so basically for the wideness of the belt you also discover that it's a very big bold belt because i want it to be bold i have four inches for the wideness of my belt and for the length i have about 45 inches which is basically long enough to grip your waist so because your band should be able to come across your waist and you can also tie it so this is what i have for the ba slip band for the belt right that is what i have for the belt so and this is optional so i'm going to go ahead now and set this aside so guys now we want to cut out the sleeve and we are cutting out you know this sleeve now is the regular sleeve which is the other part where you have your regular arm o. so you are basically going to cut out two different types of sleeve for this style so now i have my sleeve length which is 24 inches i added two inches for my elastic allowance at this lower part i have 26 inches and you have your close edge so on this part now go ahead and mark three inches on this part mark three inches now you go ahead and connect it this way just to give you your curve go ahead and connect it this way this is what you have for this part now on your round sleeve my round sleeve is 12 divided by 2 i have 6 inches now i'm going to fix in elastic at this lower part because i want it to be a balloon sleeve so i'm going to add my elastic allowance which i am adding about 5 inches for my elastic allowance so i have 11 inches i'm just going to basically connect my 11 inches this way to this part so i'll go ahead now and cut this out this is for your regular sleeve right the parts where you have your regular sleeve. so guys once you are done this is basically what you have by the time you are fixing your elastic care you are going to have your balloon effect so let's go ahead now and cut out the other sleeve which is our off shoulder sleeve so now you want to cut out the other part which is our off shoulder sleeve now you folded your fabric you discovered that this sleeve length is actually shorter than the other sleeve this is because our sleeve length is 24 inches right now you you place the inches you took off out of your tape measurements when you want to calculate your sleeve length so if your sleeve length is 24 inches and you took off six inches it means that you are basically going to place your six inches out and then you mark your 24 inches right and for this sleeve part this sleeve where you have your off shoulder you're going to add four inches to your sleeve length why are we adding four inches but for the regular sleeve we added two inches this is because your off shoulder part is going to have an elastic at this upper part two inches and also going to have an elastic at this lower part two inches compared to the other sleeve whereby you only have your elastic at the lower part that was why you added two inches but for this off shoulder part you are going to add four inches 
inches to your length now i'm just going to go ahead now and fold out where i have my elastic so that i don't add it to my measurement so i took off six inches for my off shoulder i'm going to place my tape measure this way this is my six inches out if you took off five inches you place five inches out so now place your six inches or the number of inches you took off for your off shoulder and then mark your arm o. so for our arm o now we made use of nine inches so this is where our arm o is nine inches now the inches you took off i took off six inches i'm going to place mark my six inches at this point place your tape measure this way and mark the inches you took off so i took off six inches this is where my six inches is but like i said i'm going to have my elastic at this sleeve so i'm going to add my elastic allowance i am adding four inches for my elastic allowance you can add five inches six inches it all depends on you now now for your sleeve length now you go ahead and mark your round sleeve my round sleeve is 12 divided by 2 i have 6 plus my elastic allowance which is 4 inches i have 10 so this is where my sleeve is going to be this way i'm just going to extend the 10 inches round now another thing you also take note of is that the arm all of you know your off shoulder is a slant shape this way so that it can fit into your slant um your slant arm o. so just go ahead now and slant it this way just a little you can see so basically this is about one and a half inches right at this upper part so just go ahead and slant it this is what it's going to look like we've gone ahead now to slant it so just go ahead now and cut this out so guys by the time you are done this is what it looks like you can see your your arm or and then you have a regular sleeve by the time you fixing your elastic this way and you also fixing your elastic this way you're gonna have a perfect sleeve so i'll go ahead now and set this aside so guys this is our one shoulder dress i've gone ahead you know to fix in my elastic at this neckline because we added about five inches for our elastic allowance so this is what it looks like so you can see the shoulder where you have your regular shoulder and you can see where you have your off shoulder so this is what we have for the first the back block and also for the front block right i've also gone ahead to also fix in my elastic so basically you are going to place like the two pieces together this way once you place your two pieces together you go ahead now and stitch your shoulder so after stitching your shoulder the next thing you have to do is to basically fix in your sleeve so let me show you guys what my sleeve looks like so guys this is the sleeve of our regular shoulder you can see that we still have our regular arm o why for the lower part i've gone ahead to fix in my elastic and you have your you know the cuff for your regular shoulder so for the sleeve of our off shoulder we have i've gone ahead to fix in my elastic at the upper part and also to fix in my elastic at the lower part so i'm gonna just basically attach this to your main dress so now we want to attach you know the sleeve of our off shoulder to our gown all you're basically going to do now is to attach this sleeve where you have your arm o. so attach each of the arm o to each of the ammo of the dress this way and you also couple the ammo of this dress to this sleeve so by the time you attach it this is what it's going to look like for this part where you have your off shoulder now the next part now is where we have our regular sleeve which is actually very easy to achieve all you are going to do basically is to attach this um arm o of your sleeve like basically just sew this all the way round basically just sew this all the way around so after attaching your sleeve this is what it's going to look like so you're going to have one shoulder this way and you're going to have this one to serve as your off shoulder so once i'm done i'll show you guys what next so guys once you are done we've gone ahead now to fixing our elastic on the neckline you can see what it looks like and then for the sleeve where we have our short sleeve we have elastic at the lower part and also elastic at the upper part so this is what it looks like now for the second sleeve which is our regular shoulder i've also gone ahead to fixing my elastic at this lower part so basically i just went ahead to 
you know couple this up to give us like a very free gown so you can decide that you want to add inner pocket to yours it all depends on how you want to rock it so basically this is what your dress looks like at the end of the day so i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you have any question in the comment section and then i'll see you guys in my next one bye